dear students today we are going to discuss about the cellular reproduction cellular reproduction is equal to cell division cell division is the fundamental process that occurs in all living organisms it ensures the reproduction growth and development in the living organism it also enables the transfer of genetic material to the offsprings in case of unicellular organisms it involves the formation of new organism as well as in multicellular organism but in case of multicellular organism it also involves the repair and the growth we know that cell division is the part of whole cell cycle while 78% of the cell cycle is interphase interphase consists of three phases number 1 is the g1 number 2 is the s phase and number 3 is the g2 phase s phase is the important phase because it involves the replication of our genetic material the, so in these phases the preparation for the cell division occurs now we are going to discuss about two different types of cellular reproduction that occurs in the eukaryotes now that is mitosis and meiosis mitosis is the form of asexual reproduction that occurs in the unicellular organisms while in case of multicellular organism it occurs in the somatic cell it produces genetically two uh, diploid cells that are resembles the parent cell which has equivalent number of chromosome as the parent cell moving on we are going to discuss the events that occurs during the mitosis and before the start of mitosis before the start of mitosis we have the replication that occurs in the s phase you can see that we have the genetic material that is single in nature and two chromosomes are present but during replication phase they have doubled the amount so this occurs during the s phase of the cell cycle following the s phase after the f phase we have the mitosis phase during the mitosis phase there are four phases one first one where the chromosome condense is called prophase in the second phase which is shown here that is the metaphase in the metaphase the chromosome are aligned in the center this is the metaphase of mitosis after the metaphase when the chromosomes are pulled to the opposite sides of the pole that is called anaphase which is clearly shown in the cell after the anaphase there is the telophase and the cytokinesis telophase and cytokinesis are usually not differentiated so we can see that at the end of mitosis after the mitosis we have the diploid daughter cells which resemble the parent cell now we are going to discuss about the second form of reproduction which is sexual reproduction that is called meiosis meiosis has two cell divisions that result in the formation of four haploid cells it leads to the formation of germ cells which give rise to gametes that are known as sperm and eggs the union of sperm and eggs creates the new organism that has the genetic variety due to meiosis in meiosis we have the recombination and crossing over of chromosomes the meiosis involve the equivalent contribution from the both parents now we are going to look at the events of meiosis as in the mitosis we have the replication phase also in the meiosis the after the replication we know that there is crossing over and recombination of chromosome which results the exchange of genetic material between the chromosomes that we can differentiate from this color initially we have the chromosomes that have don't have any section of other chromosome but after the recombination we have different sections from different chromosome which is due to the crossing over and recombination at the end of meiosis meiosis in all two phases keep in mind that meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and all have the similar prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 telophase 1 prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 after all this division we have four daughter cells from the meiosis 1 two daughter cells are produced from the meiosis 2 and other two daughter cells are uh, for, uh, another two daughter cells are produced so this is the overview of the events of the meiosis as a result of this meiosis event we have four haploid daughter cells that are different from the parent cell